Investigating to determine who sexually assaulted a woman in a vegetative state impregnating her. So, are police looking into the possibility that other patients may have also been victims? Team 12's Michael Doudna talked to the man who used to be in charge of a special sex crimes unit to find out. Michael? Well, records show that a pregnancy test was not part of the patient's annual checkup, and nursing staff well, had no idea the woman was pregnant until she was giving birth. She just had a baby and we had no idea she was pregnant. That call setting off a firestorm and police investigation into who sexually assaulted the woman who has been in a vegetative state and cared for at Hacienda Healthcare for more than 20 years. She had a baby. Look, at there's a baby right there. Court documents show the woman received an annual physical, the last one back in April, but a pregnancy test is not part of it. So are police testing other patients to see if there could be more victims. Behind closed doors, we would be looking at under every rock, um, every possible suspect. Retired Phoenix Police Commander Jeffrey Hines isn't part of this case, but he does know how they operate after 32 years of policing. There's, there's probably additional victims that are going to come forward as a result of this investigation. Hines oversaw the sexual assault unit, and he says the first thing is a pregnancy screening for every other patient. This is one of those nightmare scenarios. Then there will be tests to try and find evidence of sexual assault. Hines says some evidence does go away over time, but a blood test can reveal more permanent signs. For possible uh, STDs, sexually transmitted diseases, I even hate to even throw that one out there. Phoenix PD now investigating, collecting DNA, hoping to catch the man responsible and help whoever is harmed. They will not stop until everybody's been eliminated, until every possible victim's been identified, and that the other residents in this home are safe. We did end up reaching out to Phoenix PD to see if they've actually started doing these tests. Uh, and what they said is that they don't have that information at this time. It'll be protected by the HIPAA law if they were actually doing it this time. So guys, back over to you. All right, Michael, thank you.